it woke up uh, it, it, wo it woke up some demons that we long thought are, are gone and it gave the credibility to those who say that xenophobic feelings are still present, unfortunately. And uh, at the same time, it is, it is obvious that this is another reason for closer integration of the EU, especially when you consider the security reasons because this is a well security and humanitarian uh, issue I wish that uh, we would be as compassionate uh, as we as we well pretend to be saying that we are have some fundamental values Christian values I come from the country that is very proud of its Christian values I'll be very happy if we show that uh, well paradoxically European Union is really the Christian community in terms of being uh, faithful to, well, to, to, to what Jesus Christ said. And I think that would be the biggest, I think, single uh, moral, uh, I mean, high point of this, of this community. But honestly, I don't, I'm personally, I'm not a religious person at all, but personally, I don't see this Christian approach in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the European Union, which was founded on the so-called Judeo-Christian values. I think that dreams are very important and that's great that Europe started as a dream but it moved from being a dream into something that is real, sometimes boring. I think I would rather compare Europe to the love affair. If you have love affair at the beginning, it looks, you know, you all have butterflies in your stomach, you are very excited, you are, you know, deeply in love, you only think about, well, the other person. But after being together for 10, 20, 30, 50 years, well, life changes, right? There is more routine, well, the ties are closer, but perhaps there is less passion about, about your relationship. And this, it's very natural. So what I want to think is that, first of all, it is okay even for the elderly to kind of reinvent their relationships. You can see people who are old and deeply in love, and I think this is a literally great example for well all of us personally but also for the European Union as a well project consisting of real people and nation states so it'd be great if we, if we can have this kind of passion but sometimes what is more important than this dream and 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 passionate feelings and emotions because these emotions are well come and go we cannot really control them always is the mutual respect responsibility for each other friendship different kind of styles uh, that you can develop and actually strengthen your relationship even if the passion from the beginning the dream that you had is gone so i would like would like to see the european union which is not only about the dream it doesn't forget about the dream but also is happy to accept itself for what it is and accept the fact that perhaps there is more routine but also more small beautiful things that get us together and this reality doesn't have to be rejected you don't have to forget about it this is a beautiful heritage that we have in our relationship so if you think about the european europe as a relationship that we have with each other i think that could contribute to uh well to the project to be to be the better one not to think about the project to think about it as a relationship so i think i will leave it you with with this thought Thank you.